I'm not much of a morning person, never really have been, but lately I've been getting up at 6am. <laughs> and the main reason for this is something I've started doing every morning called a cacao ceremony. It might sound a little silly, but it's actually awesome and I want to share it with you guys today and hopefully encourage you to give it a try yourself. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm finally doing this after talking about it for so long. If you don't know me, my name is Ebony. I'm a photographer and writer from Southwest Victoria, Australia. <laughs> you can't tell from the accent. Today, in my first video, I want to talk about one of my favorite things, chocolate, and how I start my day with a cacao ceremony. Even if the closest thing you can find to ceremonial grey cacao is simply dark chocolate from your local supermarket. If you're completely new to cacao, it can be a little bit overwhelming to know where to start, so I hope that this video provides a good overview of the topic and helps you get started. You'll also find a link down below to a full blog post uh, as well, so if you're curious to learn more, check that out. I first tried ceremonial cacao over a year ago, and last year I also was lucky enough to travel through Guatemala and Mexico for five months. So I've started many mornings now with cacao, with really great ceremonial grade cacao as well as now I'm home just trying to use what I can. The trouble of course is sourcing pure ceremonial grade cacao in Australia. If anyone has any recommendations please let me know. In the meantime and what I'll show you today is how I'm making it with simple easily found dark chocolate. It may not be quite the same as 100% pure ceremonial grade cacao but it does the trick for now and it still tastes amazing. Even if you don't consider yourself a spiritual person, there are many health benefits to cacao, from gaining mental clarity and energy to lowering blood pressure. But you might wonder why not just drink the cacao and get on with your day. I'm sure you'd get the nutrients, but there are many more benefits to be gained from slowing down, appreciating the cacao, and creating a little ceremony for yourself. Adding some kind of ritualistic element to making and drinking cacao allows you the time to really enjoy it to set your intentions for the day, or maybe even meditate or journal. There are so many options. Today I'll share with you my process uh, and what works for me, but let me know down below what you might try as well, because I'd love more suggestions. Before I show you my recipe, let me first talk about why cacao is considered a superfood and medicinal plant. Knowing why will definitely make you want to eat more dark chocolate. Cacao is packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It has high amounts of calcium and magnesium and also contains iron and zinc. The scientific name of the cacao plant is theobromine cacao. To get technical for a second, theobromine is the bitter alkaloid of the cacao plant. Thanks, Google. It's essentially a stimulant that opens up blood vessels, lowers blood pressure, allows for greater mental clarity, and gives you energy. Cacao also helps remove toxins, has anti-inflammatory properties, and I also discovered while looking into it that studies have shown that it increases production of DMT in the brain. In my experience, I always feel so energized and creative after I drink cacao, and it always seems that the more effort I put into the ceremony, the better I feel. It's any wonder that theobromine literally translates to food of the gods, with cacao having a long history in Mayan culture which is where the cacao ceremony comes in. In Central and South America, many Mayan traditions around cacao are still practiced. Cacao beans in every form can be found in markets and ceremonies can be attended. I'm so grateful that I spent five months in Mexico and Guatemala last year. We were lucky enough to attend two ceremonies and both were quite different from each other. If you'd like to hear more about them, let me know. In attending these cacao ceremonies, I had the chance to experience a glimpse of what a true Mayan ceremony would be like. Traditionally, cacao is created using the ground paste of raw cacao beans. The beans are fermented first, then roasted. Once cool enough to handle, the shells are removed and the cacao is then ground on a grinding stone, which naturally melts the oils, forming a paste. The paste can be served immediately or shaped into a disc and packaged. Cacao includes the complete cacao bean with all its nutrients intact. 
what happens to typical westernized chocolate is that the elements of cacao are separated into cocoa powder, mass and butter. Then depending on the product, different amounts of these are combined with other ingredients, which is where the percentage comes in. 90% means that the product contains 90% cocoa powder and 10% sugar and flavoring. It goes without saying that this is far more processed, so naturally the health benefits would be somewhat diminished but it's still just as delicious. And if your intention is there to create a ceremony, even if the chocolate isn't ceremonial grade, I believe it is still absolutely worth it. Traditional Mayan hot chocolate is simply cacao and water, but often it includes chili powder, cinnamon, and cardamom. It can also have sugar, especially when purchased at markets. A supermarket in Guatemala sold 50% cacao. It was so sweet and crumbly you could eat it like candy. If you're a fan of milk chocolate, you may want to start small. Depending on the percentage of your chocolate that you're using, you may want to add more or less, and even add a little too sugar if it's too rich. It may take some experimenting. I would encourage you to use your favorite plant-based milk, or just water, or a combination of plant-based milk and water. So this is how I'm making it right now. If I can find ceremonial grade cacao, I will be sure to share an update but this is a very easy, accessible way to make it at home for yourself. If you're not sure that you'll stick with it or even like it, and you don't want to spend heaps of money buying ceremonial grade cacao online, try this first and see how you go. First, add your milk and or water of choice. I pour it into my mug first just to measure it outright. Currently, I'm using half soy milk, half water. I heat that up to simmering. Then add in a dash of cinnamon and cardamom. Lastly, I turn off the heat and stir in the chocolate pieces. Whatever chocolate or cacao that you're using, it's key not to overheat it. The liquid doesn't need to be that hot for it to melt and combine. Simmering is usually hot enough. If you want it to be extra creamy, try whisking or even using a blender. But being that I have my cacao early in the morning while everyone else is still asleep, I just use a soundless spatula and it does the job. The chocolate I'm currently using has a little sugar and vanilla, but it's still pretty rich. Some days I'll use just water and I'll add more chocolate if I want it to be less sweet and more decadent. The more chocolate you use, the thicker it is too. So that's my current recipe. Like I said, it's so delicious. And I'll keep searching for the less processed, more nutrient dense and spiritually enriched ceremonial grade cacao. Once I've made my cacao, I light a candle or two, hold the cup to my heart and shut my eyes, breathing in the wonderful aromas of chocolate and cinnamon, and I say thank you. I think about what I am most grateful for in that moment and state my intention for the day. I then drink, focusing on gratitude and intention for a few minutes before I take out my notebook and pen and start writing. As I'll cover in another video, I do what's called morning pages, which essentially means I write whatever comes to mind for at least three pages. I will usually draw a tarot card too, and spend a moment reflecting on the interpretation of the card. So my cacao ceremony is personal to me. It's what I feel works for me, flows naturally and feels great. Once I've had my cacao and spent some time writing, I feel so motivated and ready to face the day. But you may just want to sit and meditate, or listen to music, or even a podcast or an audiobook. You may read a little or watch an inspiring video. The only requirement for a cacao ceremony is that you mindfully sip and appreciate the cacao. Don't just scroll Instagram or start work. Take the time for yourself. The more you put in, the more you can gain from it. On that note, let me just say, taking this ritual to our homes allows space for gratitude, for this sacred medicine, this food of the gods. In recognizing and feeling the weight of the history that comes with it, the experience of drinking cacao is enriched. For me, having a little personal ceremony every time I drink it each morning gives me an opportunity to think with gratitude, to set my intention for the day, to increase my positivity and overall happiness because though some days it might be hard to get up early, it's totally worth it. 
it's peaceful and quiet while everyone else is still asleep and the process of making cacao is meditative. It's the perfect way to wake up in the morning, followed by a delicious hot beverage as the perfect reward. I could talk for hours on this subject, about ceremonies, the health benefits, the spiritual aspects, and everything in between. If you have any questions or feedback at all, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below. Are you going to try making cacao for yourself? Even if it's not the real ceremonial grade stuff, do you think there's merit in having a cacao ceremony? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this new venture. I am so excited to be finally making videos. Please subscribe, ring the little bell, and like this video if you enjoyed it. I'm on literally all the social media, including TikTok, at Ebony Highland. If you want to chuck us a follow, that would be great. <laughs> All the links are down below for all the things I've mentioned here today, including the blog post with more information and resources if you're curious to learn more. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, hi, Daisy. Hey, everybody meet Daisy. This is Daisy. She wants food. It's a bit early for dinner. <laughs>